Russia made a statement that NATO vehicles carrying weapons to Ukraine are our legitimate target. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, the United States and NATO allies continue to deliver weapons to Ukraine. Any transport of the North Atlantic Alliance that comes to the territory of the country with weapons or materials for the needs of the Ukrainian armed forces is a legitimate target for destruction by us. Made a statement. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said that the transport vehicles belonging to NATO countries that deliver weapons to Ukraine are the legitimate targets of the Russian army and will be destroyed if detected. In his speech at the meeting with ministry officials, Shoigu stated that the Russian army has expanded the area under its control in the Donbass, with the troops of the so-called Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics, in operations in Ukraine. Stating that Russian soldiers took comprehensive measures to protect civilians, Shoigu stated that a temporary ceasefire was established in the conflict areas and humanitarian corridors were opened every day for the safe evacuation of civilians. Stating that the city of Mariupol is under the control of the Russian army, Shoigu said that the return to normal life in the city has begun. Noting that the Ukrainian forces at the Azovstal metallurgical plant site are under siege, Shoigu said, repeated offers to the nationalists to release the civilians and lay down their arms, with the guarantee of protecting their lives and being treated in accordance with the norms of international law, were ignored by them. We continue our attempts, he said. Making statements regarding the NATO vehicles loaded with weapons that came to Ukraine, Shoigu said, the United States and NATO allies continue to ship weapons to Ukraine. Any transport vehicle of the North Atlantic Alliance that comes to the territory of the country with weapons or materials for the needs of the Ukrainian armed forces, it's a legitimate target to be destroyed by us, he said.